Hi guys, Iggs here, long time no see. Right, today's video, it's just a little one. It's just to show you, I've been buying again, I've bought a new boat. <laughs> but I've had loads and loads of fishing boats and stuff like that over the years. But this is the first time I've had one of these. I'll take you outside and show you. I'll just turn you around. <coughs> I bought a rib. <laughs> Bloody hell. I'm not sure if I've done the right thing, but I just didn't want to buy another fishing boat. I've had them, I've had loads. I'll put a few of the fishing boats I've had up in, on the screen while we're talking or something for a minute, but I might have a few photographs of them. But yeah, I'd fancy something different. Uh, I was down in Anglesey a few weeks ago. I've been down there a bit this year, and I just fancy getting out looking around the island, doing a bit of exploring around the island and up in Scotland and places like that. But <clears throat> So I thought, well, I want something fast. I want something that can take a bit of a wave, you know, easily at speed. So I thought I'll get a rib. So anyway, there it is. It's, a, it's an oldish one. It's an Avon Sea Rider, 4.7 metre. Sorry, it's all bagged up at the minute. It's got an Evan Rood. Uh, E-Tex 60 horsepower on the back, <coughs> there's two, you can't see it under there at the minute, there's, a jo there's two jockey seats there, well there's one jockey seat, it's a double one, steering console, gauges and things like that, and then uh, that's that's the deck inside of it, and that's just like an old cool box that's been fastened down with a seat on it, with a lid, uh, <coughs> yeah, yeah I'm quite chuffed with it. I wanted this boat specifically because of the hull, and I'll show you the hull, it's a really deep V, and I'll have to go around the car. But there you can see see the hull, it's quite a deep, a deep V hull, um, which should be good for uh, cutting through sloppy seas. Uh, sorry from the side and, it, and the D, and the V it doesn't really flatten out much to the right to the stern it's, it's all the way down so it should be good might not be as fuel efficient as a, a shallow V but it should be it should do what I want yeah so it's quite chuffy I've not had it out yet it needs new bearings and hubs and wheels uh, so I'm about to do that, so I might do a video on doing that, I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, but the wheel bearings are, sh are shot, the tyres are shot. Uh, I mean, the trailer's okay, it's not It's not a roller coaster, but it looks like it'll do the job. I can't. I just can't afford to go out and spend three grand on a trailer for it, you know. But it was a bit, I had quite a bit of play on it, because these rollers... They weren't touching the hull, they'd slip down. And the bolts, if you look at the bolts, they're rusted. Uh, never going to get them out. So I thought what I did was, I got the lump hammer and knocked them back up. So they're touching the hull for now. And then I put a stainless bolt straight through washers just to stop them slipping down. Because what were happening was, that back cage there was twisting because there was no weight on these. But now it's pretty sturdy. Uh, and I think when I'm strapping it down, I'm going to strap it down off these. I think that's what these are for. Straight down there, under there, to the axle or some of the cross member there. Yeah, quite chuffed with it. Should be interesting. I've never had a rib before. These are quite unnerving to me. I've never seen these before either. I think they're called... Uh... I'm not sure what they're called now, but... <clears throat> There's two of them, big holes in my floor, <laughs> in, my, in my transom, which is under the water line. But these, these things here, you pull them up when you're not moving, tie them off, and then no water can come in anyway. It has got a flooding hole, this, but the people who had it before me. There's two holes at the front, I don't know if you can see them there. <coughs> two holes in the hull there this bottom bit here of the hull is like a chamber and apparently the water goes in there 
it floods in when you stop so it's supposed to make it more stable when you like just sat in the water and, and when you set off <clears throat> it all shoots out the back but he's decided to uh, block them off and put a bung on the back so it's like a dry hull inside now but I'll see how it is and if uh, I don't know whether to just leave it as it is or use the hull I don't fancy water in my hull to be fair but anyway <laughs>